This week's NFL football injury is going to discuss an injury that occurred during week nine's practice. Or did it? We're going to talk about it next on this Back and Body video. Hi, Dr. Dave Perna here, your New York City chiropractor with Back and Body Medical. And as usual, we, every week we talk about a new NFL injury uh, for educational purposes only and not to treat, but just so people understand the process of injuries and how they can sometimes happen. This week's injury came when Deshaun Watson was running an option play during pr a Thursday practice and fell to the ground. He was carted off the field, nothing was thought of it, but later on in the day they discovered he had an ACL tear. What was unique about this injury is re people reported who watched the practice that he was just striding on jogging at the time he fell, which didn't look like the typical plant and turn non-contact injury you see with an ACL tear. This led some to believe that it's possible that his injury actually occurred on his right ACL su uh, the Sunday prior when the Texans uh, played the Seahawks. Uh, during the fourth quarter, Frank Clark, a defensive end, leaped over the uh, blocking running back and landed at the feet of Deshaun Watson. At that point in time, he immediately fell to the ground and clutched his right knee. Now, the medical staff for the, the Houston Texans has stated that they don't believe that that was the cause of injury, but other experts in the field of sports medicine, when reviewing that hit, said that there was a perfect situation where Watts' knee was, his femur, was internally rotated and there was a slight valgus stress on the knee, which is the perfect storm to tear an ACL. Now others argue that wouldn't he have noticed the injury at the time. Sometimes not. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, athletic trainers and sports medicine doctors do report having people tear an ACL and not feeling it until after the athletic competition. During the fourth quarter of a game, his adrenaline is probably pretty high, so it is quite possible, at the very least, in that position where he was struck on his knee uh, while throwing the ball in the fourth quarter, it's possible he might have partially tore his ACL. So when it came to practice on Thursday, the first time he was running on it, he may have fully torn it. It is also quite possible that he might have fully torn it without even feeling it uh, during the game, and then noticed it when he finally ran and changed directions on the following Thursday. What we do know is that Sean did tear his left knee ACL in 2014. So you'd imagine he had some experience in feeling what the discomfort was. But again, once adrenaline is in place, sometimes you just no, don't notice things. Typical timeline for an ACL repair is nine months. There is lots of studies that suggest return to play prior to nine months increases the chance of re-injury to the ACL. So if you're looking at what the timeline is for recovery, you're looking at it possibly up to nine months, although sometimes, depending on certain uh, people's test results, such as Deshaun's in the past, he actually recovered sooner than nine months in the past. For information such as NFL injuries and health healthcare updates, please like our Facebook page, where we'll post videos such as this, NFL injuries per week, and other health information often.